Hello everyone, and today we are going to explore Russia. And we're now in St. Petersburg, and our Airbnb is, oh, it's just, it's just amazing here. So, let's show you around first. And now we have done that, at least um, as always. On the first day, we're going to get lost in the city. So for now, this will be all in the theme of walking around St. Petersburg and seeing what uh, we're going to do here. I really need to say sorry in advance if I don't make that many B-roll uh, this, uh, this holiday because I noticed filming outside with minus 8 degrees today, which is quite a warm day. Yesterday was minus 13 when we arrived and will be even colder. It's not really a good idea. You first uh, struggle a lot because you need to take your gloves out and then you need to film and then your hands are getting cold and get shaky and need your gloves on. So sorry for that in advance. But the first impression of St. Petersburg is that it's a very good place because, okay, yesterday we went back to our Airbnb with the bus and we were waiting for a bus at 11 o'clock weird thing happened that there were people passing by on horses it's minus 13 degrees people going out for horse riding I really don't understand the principle but it looks very funny and the food so far is very good as well because we just have our uh, brunch at the marketplace at Nevsky Avenue which is a brilliant place and I will show you around now Besides that the place looks very fancy, it also tastes very good as well and it's not even that expensive so it's a very good place if you are here in the area. But now let's go out, I will dress warm again and I'm ready to get into the cold to see how St. Petersburg looks like. So that's what I meant why I didn't give any uh, updates yet like we passed the since Isaac's cathedral before and now we're next to the river which is completely frozen as well but every time when you remove your gloves here it's so bloody cold can we have a look at your hand my hand my hand it's so bloody cold I my hand seems quite okay now but it gets like shaky and it's very painful to move so every time when I remove my glove to grab my camera and stuff it's very annoying so We'll stop this for now and just keep continue walking and I'll see what I can shoot in the meantime for today. We walked all the way to the other side of the river because according to some woman uh, yesterday on the bus who was very friendly and told us everything about St. Petersburg, there would be crazy enough people to find here just here who would uh, be dancing so far we haven't seen them at least we were able to get here on the river behind us it's frozen enough to walk a little bit on us but we aren't brave enough to walk very far on the river but at least you are able to stand on it so it's frozen enough and if you go far enough you can hear the ice a little bit cracking so that's the reason why we didn't walk uh, far enough and while I'm talking I noticed that uh, my lips are a little bit uh, frozen as well so I have difficulties talking at the moment so let's move on and find a warm place to warm up and we had finally some time to warm up like there at the river my lips were freezing off at my mouth I couldn't even talk anymore in the last sentences and now we are in a very uh, fancy place and I can't even uh, talk that loud now. But uh, we just walked, before we entered in here, we walked, uh, we passed by the Winter Palace where the Hermitage Museum is settled. And that's where we will go another day. So that's for another time. And in the meantime, it's uh, 4.30 and that means it's getting dark in St. Petersburg. So it's a good moment to go out soon, dress up warm again 
and explore St. Petersburg during night and see how uh, maybe the Christmas markets even looked like. And we saw at least yesterday that the lights make this uh, place a beautiful place. So hopefully we're able to capture that as well. And also tip, the winter drains your battery quite fast. And sometimes even though our camera is not even calibrated well, it gives a weird color because of the temperature as well. So that's uh, something uh, to keep in mind when you're here in St. Petersburg. I think uh, one of the reasons why you can't uh, find anything on YouTube from people filming in the winter is uh, what I just discovered outside as well. I was taking off my gloves and after five seconds my hands were freezing off my body and it was just like too painful to hold it so I put my gloves back on and then you need to wait like another half an hour before it gets even a little bit warm again so yeah it's just too cold to, to really film something outside so I will struggle a bit the next 14 days but we will manage and I will succeed everything for you to be able to join this trip as well one golden tip if you're in a luxury restaurant is one if they ask you to move move because we got a, like a nice truffle kind of truffle, uh, was a truffle caviar on bread with some parmesan cheese on top, which was really nice. And now they saw us filming and we were planning to leave, but we are still sitting here. And then the chef thought, let's give them another thing. So now we got uh, some uh, dark chocolate with cherry inside and some almond uh, pastry. So always sit a bit longer in a luxury restaurant. Who knows, we, uh, you will get something for free. So after our truffle lunch we went back into the cold and then we passed the Winter Palace again and then we walked um, over Nevsky Avenue where we visited quite a load of shops. At least we noticed that here at Nevsky Avenue most of the shops are open till 10 and we also passed a lot of centers. There's a center run going on and I never saw so many people outside on the street since that time. We first thought that the city was quite deserted till uh, this evening and then for one weird reason everyone is uh, getting out. And um, besides that, I was a little bit distracted because we are now in a, a new place, which is a German-Russian restaurant place. It's called Jaeger, which surprisingly had some very pretty food as well, what you got. Very good food as well, some pretty food. And the waiter just uh, grabbed uh, the menu just right in front of me uh, away, so that's uh, why I was a little bit uh, confused. But sorry, this vlog was all over the place because, as always, this is the first day in St. Petersburg which means lost in Russia and lost in the cold as well. I think I even lost my brain here in the meantime, so I'm not sure if it will be even better the next days because I lost my brain. But yeah, we will plan our trip tonight and then I will promise the next videos will be more organized. And as always, before I fall asleep here in this warm, cozy restaurant, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and I hope to see you in the next video.